Okay. So, I have a hard time singing the songs I write. So, um, so anyway, so I watch a lot of these TV and things, and, and, and lots of them feature the killing of a woman. That's something that everyone can get behind, and, uh, or at least understand. And uh, so several years ago, I, I came across this story, the real-life story of this 13-year-old girl. Her name was Marion Measles. Um, and I, I feel it. I feel it. I, and, um, uh, and a big part of how I feel it is what do we do, what do we need to change the world so this doesn't happen again, you know? Because like in these crime dramas, it's always like, you know, there's a bad apple over here, bad apple, we caught him, we caught him, we caught her, or whatever it is. But shoot, that gets you nowhere. That in a dime is nowhere because it just keeps on going. And that isn't really what's going on here. So, I mean, everybody knows how, you know, some of the things that can make a less violent world, you know, 40% better living conditions, fulfilling jobs, health care, uh, equality for all, end to sexual uh, repression and uh, and, you know, and we all know how to, I mean, because one of the things that Marion was doing is that she was experimenting. You know, she was 13 years old. She was finding her wings, and, you know, why shouldn't she? Um, so, uh, but, but it's dangerous, and in her case, it turned out to be fatal. Um, let's try this Maggie Mae Bennett. So Maggie Mae Bennett... Uh, as I remember, it was her. It was her van that the equipment, the, the blanket, and the, the the chain and the lock and uh, was put in, and that was where, uh, towards the end of the story, when they killed Marianne, that was w w first they raped her and they raped her in the back of this van. Uh, so, um, so uh, Maggie Mae Bennett. So, let's give us the cue and. Uh, to me to marry and how come you're telling everyone I'm sleeping with you I had been dating MJ for five or six days at that time so It piqued my da 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 curiosity. Okay. All right. So a little more on this story. Okay. Um. Um. So, okay, so in the summer of, let's tell a little more of the outline. So in the summer of 1997, uh, Marianne, 13 year old Marianne, uh, met uh, uh, this uh, 20 year old guy who was hanging around outside the teen center that she went. He wasn't allowed to go in because he was too old. And he was hanging around the outside there and he would buy liquor for the kids and take them, you know, to the mall and, and drive them around. And he liked Marianne. And, um, and uh, she sort of seemed to have tolerated him, and, and he sweet-talked her, and she liked that. Uh, she found that very, you know, she liked that. And, um, and he introduced her to this crowd of people that she started hanging around with, and um, uh, this was in, in, in Litchfield, Connecticut. And um, several months later, uh, uh, they, they kidnapped her, raped her, and killed her. Uh, and um, okay, and none of these people could read or write very well. Everybody was poor here. Um, what's the next song we're going to look at? Oh, okay. Humiliation. Humiliation. Humiliation is what's up. That's right. So you know, endless series of humiliations, and mm -hmm. isn't. You know, so much of uh, interaction, human interaction, uh, has a piece of this, uh, this one upsmanship stuff. As we as we as we talk as we do this tonight, uh, there's a, a a new series of revolts in Baltimore about uh, towards the police who who 
broke a man's spine, and they don't not, they're not charged with it yet, and people are reacting to get them to charge them some, you know, to stop this activity. Um, so um, another form of humil humiliation taken to the next level. Um, which is what they did to Marianne. So, shall I count it for you? Shall we make it brisk? Do you want the cue too? Yeah, what's the cue? Ba da di, ba da da, ba da da. Okay, well, why don't you just do the cue and okay. do it do it fast, do it you fast. Want to blow then. It? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 